former acting director of national intelligence and former ambassador Rick Rennell. Rick, it's great to see you again. What, what are you expecting to hear from top Republican Senator Ron Johnson? He says he's going to release an interim, interim report on the investigation into the Biden's pay-to-play conflicts of interest. He's saying it will show Joe Biden is, un, quote, unfit for office. What is the material there that is going to indicate that? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Good to see you again, Liz. Um, you know, I don't know the specifics of what Senator Johnson is uh, releasing but let me just say a couple of things about the seriousness of Senator Johnson. I, ha I haven't worked with a U.S. senator as serious and as committed to getting to the truth. The truth is not partisan, and that requires transparency. Senator Johnson um, and, and many senators were just as focused. Um, but Senator Johnson in particular has been focused on trying to get documents declassified documents released. Uh, he is someone who has worked night and day to try to just get the information uh, in full, rather than have it spoon-fed to him or to the public, which is really how we got into this Russian collusion case. I saw the entire uh, set of documents that the Democrats used to develop this Russian collusion narrative. and. One thing that people need to understand, your viewers need to understand, is that what was said on cable television was fundamentally different than what was said in the basement of the House congressional committees when these individuals were under oath with lawyers around them. When they had the, the time to be on TV, they said outlandish things like there was proof or they saw collusion of some sort and, and would tease the public with, oh, just wait until you see this evidence. And so reporters in Washington began to report on each other's uh, information, not knowing the truth. Once we were able to look at the truth, and Senator Johnson was part of that digging, we were able to see that under oath, these same people that fed the American public one line would say to lawyers when they were under oath, I didn't see anything. I see no evidence of collusion. That made me sad, actually. Yeah. So he, as acting director of national saying. intelligence, one was put over on the American people. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. When it comes to Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, State Department officials during the Obama administration reportedly had serious worries over the Biden's pay to play conflicts of interest when Biden's son Hunter took that job as a high paid board director at that Ukrainian energy company, Burisma. And, you know, Senator Johnson's committee got 2,600 pages of documents from Blue Star Strategies, that's a public relations firm, linked to Burisma Holdings. So if he is saying that he's unfit for office, you know, Senator Ron Johnson is a straight shooter. For him to say that, this sounds really serious for Joe Biden. Your reaction? I think whenever Senator Johnson is focused on getting documents and getting to the truth, like he has in, in many instances where I've worked with him, he's going to uh, be transparent. He's going to let the facts uh, just be presented. And so when he says that he has a report based on documents that we haven't seen, you can be absolutely assured that Senator Johnson has done his homework and this information is not political, it's just the facts. Transparency is never political and that's what Senator Johnson has been focused on. Let me add one thing. I've worked at the State Department for 11 years. I know many Foreign Service officers. I know many career individuals at the State Department. They were horrified at what Hunter Biden was doing while his father was vice president. He utilized the State Department, international contacts, embassies, and people were just embarrassed and horrified at what he was doing. This has never okay. been looked into. He's never had scrutiny okay. from the media, and it deserves this. We're up against a hard break. Rick Grinnell, we're so sorry we ran out of time. We would love to have you back on to talk about this. Will you come back? Sure, of course. Thanks, Elizabeth. Okay. Good to see you, Rick Grinnell.